All right, everyone, welcome back. So we continue on our 2024 trade deadline previews with the New Jersey Devils today. So the Devils are a team that I'm going to be stating a lot of goalie. Goalie. That's all I'm going to say for the majority of this video. They need a goalie. That's the biggest thing this team needs. Now, there's been a few factors as to why they haven't been the team that we saw them be last year. You could argue that, oh, they peaked too early. You could argue that it's the goalie issue. You could argue that it's the injuries. You could argue that it's a little bit of all three of those things. And it probably is. As of right now, the time recording this video, they are 28, 23, and 4 for 60 points. They are fourth overall in the Metropolitan Division. So, they have definitely, over the last couple of weeks, have definitely progressed in a much better direction. They have won a lot more games and... You know, obviously, they are more in the race for that wild card spot. I believe they are, I don't think they're tied with it anymore. I believe they're two points behind still. So, they are catching up, and they are probably going to be a team that does make it above that playoff line. There is a, there is, you can make a pretty good bet for that. Now, as of right now, they have $423,000 in projected cap space. That's not their current cap space. It's their projected cap space. Now, Overall, obviously, if they want to make a move for a goalie, they're going to have to free up some money. So definitely, there may be guys that get moved the other way. We'll obviously find out there if that does affect the quality of the goaltender that they get at the deadline this year. And obviously, they've been trying to get a goalie. There were reports that um, about a week ago that Jacob Markstrom almost got traded over to the Cal to the not the Calgary Flames. He's already on the Calgary Flames to the New Jersey Devils. That could happen again. They could report back to that. They could circle back and maybe make that trade. However, the trade obviously fell through because of cap reasons and retaining salary. Markstrom did say he did want to go to the Devils. So there may be a possibility that we see that happen again. But obviously, we'll find out. Um, your UFAs and RFAs here goes as follows. And it's a pretty big list. you got Tyler Toffoli, Tomas Nosek, Chris Tierney, Max Woolman, Colin Miller, Nick DeSimone, and Brendan Smith. So obviously there, we'll go through each name there in the unrestricted free agents. Toffoli, been a good guy this year, has played very well for this Devils team. Um, I don't think he gets an eight-year extension. If he gets like, he's probably going to get something in the short term. I don't believe he's going to get an eight-year deal with the Devils. I don't think the Devils go for that because uh, Toffoli is older than the other usual players. So he probably leaves and signs somewhere else to a bridge contract or he signs with the Devils on a bridge contract, whatever they want to do. Uh, no sack, a solid fourth line. I would imagine he stays. Might be a guy that gets moved. Might be a possible name that maybe if they want to free up some room, they move no sec. That's a possibility. Tierney, another name there that is a, just a deaf player. Hasn't played all too much. Same with Willman. Miller has been a very serviceable defensive defenseman. Uh, but obviously the defense had their injuries. So definitely that plays a factor there too. DeSimone, another solid deaf player there. And then Smith can play offense and defense. A very useful player on this team. Um, a guy that I would imagine does stay with the Devils. Uh, at least for the rest of the season. Your RFAs then goes as follows. You got Dawson Mercer, Santeri Hataka, Nico Dawes, Michael McLeod, and Cal Foot. So we'll get it out of the way. McLeod and Foot are not going to get signed. They're done. Um, should not surprise anyone with the sexual assault. Um, Mercer could get a relatively solid contract. I'm thinking around $7 million for eight years. That might be something we see for him, maybe even more than that with the cap rising. Obviously, we will find out with that. Hactica, I don't know a whole lot about him. Probably a guy that does get signed to a minimum contract. Dawes, we'll find out. Um, I mean, like, he's a guy who has looked solid at points, has looked bad at points. It really depends on how you look at it there with, with, with Dawes and the Devils. Obviously, he probably does stay, but there's a chance that if they acquire a goalie, another goalie may need to go the other way. So, obviously, we'll see if that is what happens. But, you know, I've been I've been wrong before. So, what are your needs? I've already said the needs multiple times. You want a goalie, but you may want a defenseman, too, because Dougie Hamilton's been out for the whole season. Um, not the whole season. is out for the rest of the season. There may be a chance that he returns in playoffs, but as of right now, he's out for the rest of the season. And a guy like Hamilton, who is probably your best defenseman, has had a huge impact for this Devils team in last season, too. Ha not having him in your lineup definitely affects your blue line, and it's affected the team overall and their overall performance so far this season it just has to right like 
you just when you look at it, he it has to. So obviously you may want to look for a defenseman, but your number one priority is a goalie. Is 100 percent a goalie. Now, what are your movable pieces to get a goaltender per se? You can move your 2024 first round pick, which is looking like that's what's gonna happen if they do go out and get a goalie. You can move Schmidt or Dawes. I think Vanacek stays. You can move either Schmidt or Dawes as another goalie. If if you're and this is what I'm thinking, if you're making a trade here, unless if you want to keep all four of them, you probably want to move another one out. Just saying. So I think the one that probably does get moved out of the equation is Schmid. Unless if they get a goalie with term, then you may want to move then you're definitely gonna want to move one of those goalies. So definitely a possibility there that we will see. Um as well as that too, I got Alexander Holtz on the list, a guy who was reportedly going to get traded in the Jacob Markstrom deal. Obviously never ended up that never ended up happening, but obviously that was something that is very possible and could still happen, to be honest with you. So yeah, I mean overall. I could list plenty of goalies that they could go after. Markstrom, Gibson, Soros even. There's plenty of names out there uh, that the Devils could go out and get. It's just a matter of how you need to give up the right amount. You need to pay off. You need to obviously you know, make sure you don't give up too much. Don't give up too little. That's something you need to factor in there. And trades don't happen so easily sometimes. Like These things take time. These things happen. These things usually happen over the course of a couple of days. So obviously that will that will play a factor there too. But I would expect the trade to happen maybe soon. If the Devils are going to acquire a goalie, every day we get closer to the trade deadline, which we're almost two weeks away, is obviously going to, you know, we're going to see more trade rumors heat up and see more guys potentially get moved. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, me, if you enjoyed sorry, make sure to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate it. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.